What were you doing with Mary? How long have you been going out with her? I didn't even know you knew her. Simmer down. Look, why should I tell you anything about a bird you don't date? And not likely to, the way you're handling it. Every bird is fair game, mate. For you and for me. Oh, yeah. Hey, fancy this one, do you? It's a lovely bit of tail, that. Oh! Here, where's she gone? She's here. Shut up, man. Oh. Hello, sexy. Do buy one. It doesn't matter what you give. Isn't your wife expecting you home for tea? Drunk <laughs> it. Oops. Who's going to bath the babies, then? <laughs> I didn't prick you, did I? No, uh, lovely. Do it again. I say, you wouldn't like to come to our church rave on Friday, would you? Church rave? Mm. Do come. We never get enough decent men. In that case, I'm on. Oh, oh good. Well, I'll, I'll see you Friday. St. Michael's. It's so hard to see her face in the overcrowded place, and the wet wet of the wind. They don't get into my mind. Children are playing. Seems a nice class of person around here. Oh, there is. We have some lovely times. In the summer, I don't come as much. Mummy and Daddy and I go miles away along the coast for picnics. Christmas. All the family come to church then. Well, why don't you come more often? It's so important to have such lovely times. Perhaps I could have a lovely time too, in a nice pure way. Why not? What's wrong with being nice and pure? You can't be grotty all your life, Jamie. <laughs> Spreading her boyfriends around the deserving poor. Kathy's certainly deserving. Oh, what a lovely suit. Is that the one you've just taken up? No, it was her dad's. She just had the legs cut off. Clever guts. Where'd you find it? Kathy's lovely. I think yours is lovely too. Lovely. Smashing. Grand night for grooving. You should come more often. We have some lovely times. Yeah, so rumour has it. <laughs> Every little thing. 
Come on, the lights might fuse again. You might be kinder to her, she's had a hard time. She does so much work for the church, single-handed. No wonder, the size of her hands. Sorry. Why don't you help with our church bazaar on Saturday? OK, just for you. Oh, you are good. Excuse me, Jamie. Oh, Michael! Jamie, you are smashing. Oh, Jamie, aren't we having a lovely time? Hmm. Paula? Would you like to come and arrange the pianos, Paula? They need your deft touch. Oi! and I want you to know how grateful I am. It's the entertainment next. So that's what it's called. When I want you to be a really big help. Come on, let's get out of there. I thought you might walk me home later and we could have some time to ourselves. Well, let's go now. We've got to stay just a bit. Later, we really will be alone, just the two of us. Have you told him yet? He is good of you, Jamie. Quick, quick, you're almost on. No, but stand still. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, oh, what's he doing? Sit down. Sit down. Now, just remember... No, what? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no. no, look, when little Tommy says he's... We knew he wouldn't mind. Oh, Sammy so... couldn't make it. Good. When he says, here is pranking of the fairies, you skip on and make magic parties with your wand. Yeah. Right. You've got the wrong bloke. We are poor lost babes in the woods, and now we must face the perils of the night. <laughs> Sis... Don't talk in that spooky way. You give me such a fright. <laughs> Goodness. I'm so tired. My legs ache and my head. I wish I was safe at home. Tucked up in my little bed. See you on the fairy twinkle toes. Here is Pan, king of the fairies. Please, Pan, king of the fairies. No, Chunk it, no! Yes, Pan. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 